Hello everyone, I'm gonna show you guys my humongous monkeys records collection. I have quite some rare records. I have some first pressing, I got some misprints, and I got some Davy Jones signatures. So I've got a lot. I'm gonna first start off with some 45s I got. The first uh, 45 I want to show you is the last Jenna Clark Small Take a Giant Step. Um Here's the single. Last year, Clark feels in like perfect condition, but Take a Giant Step has a little bit of scratches on it. It's like the opposite, because last year Clarksville was the hit, but um, Take a Giant Step was the B side. It was underrated. I like Take a Giant Step, but um, maybe this person like Take a Giant Step more. I mean, when I was a kid, I liked Take a Giant Step more. I got this at uh, Recycled Records for 9.99 in Monterey. <coughs> I got another thing from Recycled Records, but this was back in 2010, that one I got like a month ago. It's uh, the I'm a Believer and I'm Not Your Stepping Stone, but this is the uh, British released single. And what's cool about the British ones, you don't have to put that little thing in the middle of the rec of the single. You could just put all the single and it's really, really handy. It's your side A, side B, it's in really good condition. I got this for nine, uh, about, I think, six something at Recycled Records. X45 I got is the Pleasant Valley Sunday and, um, Words. This is Cole Jim's release. I got this at Recycled Records about a month ago. Really good shape. Really good. I mean, Words is just a little scratch on it. Uh, Pleasant Valley Sunday has about a sh just a little mark, but it's not really a scratch. Now uh, this is the Collision's release. I got this for one one eighty nine at Recycle Records about a month ago. And here's something I got back in 2010. It's actually the same record except for it's in the British one. That's for six eighty nine at Recycle Records. The other one I got for seven eighty nine. This one then just has like a few marks on it, but it's it's probably in better condition. But um it's the British one. I'm not done with all the 45s I got. I know I don't have that many 45s, but I have a lot of records. The first one is the Monkees' first album, which I got actually a month ago. But th what's cool about this one, this is the misprint, so that's really good. So, uh, it's in mono. Oh, wait. Right there. Front, spine, the back. Um, it's the back. Just the songs again. Let me take out the record. Mm. Side A and side B. <sighs> Next, I got a, also a very rare More of the Monkeys, but what's cool about this, I've got um, Mickey Dolenz, Peter Tork, and Davy Jones. I went to go see them back in July. And I got this record, um, back in July of 2010 at Recycled Records. Same thing as, like, some of the other ones I got back in 2010. I got a ton of Monkeys records then. Um, this was actually the album that, uh, that Don Kirshner fired. No, wait, the, the Little Bit Me, a Little Bit You, and She Hangs Out got him fired. But this was one of the things that pushed him up a little. Um, this is in mono. I used to have this album, but it was in stereo. Front spine, the spine's in bad shape, but here's the back. And, um, here's back, and here's side A and side B. This is also Cold Gems, the other one was Cold Gems. Next, I got the Cold Gems release of Headquarters. My dad got this back in 1980 something is in stereo. Uh, this is my favorite Monkees album and my second favorite album of all time. Front, spine, back. <coughs> has a little marks on there because he got it at a used record store. Um, there's actually uh, 14 songs instead of 12 on this one. But uh, there's still 12 actually, 12 real songs because there's one that's just like a practice song and the other is just them talking. Like a one with music and singing that's um, you know, um, side A and side B. So this 
This is my favorite monkey song. <clears throat> Most people is actually Instant Replay, which I don't get. But Instant Replay is not that bad of an album. But there's some songs on it that I just can't stand. Um, well, I don't can't stand, but I have another headquarters, but this is the Rhino release. Oh, I forgot. I got all the signatures on it. Mickey, Davey, and Peter. <clears throat> Got them in July of 2011. And the same thing from July 2011. This is in stereo. Front, spine, back. That's at the used record store in 2010. It's a little restored. Um, it plays a lot better. When I got it, it was in shrink wrap. Side A and side B. <coughs> now, even though Pisces is my second favorite monkey's album, I can't find it at a record store, so I don't have it. But I do have... The Birds and the Bees and the Monkeys. This is Cold Jim's Stereo. Front, spine, the back. Has uh, Daydream Believer on it, which I heard was going to be on Pisces, but they wanted to put it on this album, so they give Peter a track on the album, because Peter did not play any tracks on this album. That's really bad. They should have at least Steven Alvin, or Merry Go Round, just something. Just some short song. Side A and Side B. But I heard originally it was supposed to be actually Do I Have to Do This All Over Again. Ooh, there's something in here that's really cool. Ooh, those look like weird. They look like the first, uh, like, bootlegged copy. And I also have the Rhino release, which I got. Oh, that one uh, my dad got back in, like, 89 or something. I think 84. Uh, five, he got it. But here's the, um, Rhino Stereo. Front, spine, back. Now, what's cool about this, it's black background. Well, this one's a gray background. It may be because this is older, or this one just is gray. And the same thing here, I got it in shrink wrap. Uh, so I got this back in 2010. Uh, same tracks, same everything, just maybe, uh, wait, no, this one does not have any new Um, side A and side B. Next, we got a very good album, but it was so underrated, it's unfunny. Head, but this Cold Jim's release is is kind of rare to find. Ooh, you can see it in the reflection. But this is the Rhino Stereo release, front, spine, back. No, um, there's only six real songs, and there's seven, like, studio stuff. But the last song has, uh, basically a porpoise song, uh, done again, and... And just some strings at the end, but... Really, there's only six songs with, like, the monkeys singing. They should have done it like, Help, or A Hard Day's Night, where they put, like, the songs from the movie, and then on the other side, they put some other bonus songs that was not in the movie. And this movie was, um, was supposed to have 11 songs, but it never did. It was supposed to be, like, two and a half hours, but it never did that. It also has one of my favorite songs of all time, Porpoise Song. But, uh, Daddy's Song's really the only song that never really, I never really liked. That's the only Davy song on here. Mickey sings three songs, and Mike sings one, Peter sings one, and Davy sings one. Um, but yeah, that's where Do I Have to Do This All Over Again ended up. They just remixed and added Davy uh, as backing vocals. And there's nothing in here, I don't get that, but my dad got it back in the 80s. Um, but it's in very good condition. But the only one bad thing, I can't really see which, like, song I'm listening to, so I actually have to listen to, like, all that other crap. Side A and Side B. I was kind of pissed off about that, um... Like, those little short things in the middle of the movie aren't in the album. That's kind of weird. Uh, next, I got the Rhino release of Instant Replay. I did find the Cauldron's release at a record store, but it was, uh... It was in such bad condition. It was, like, all torn up. You can even see, like, uh, Mickey's, uh, like, this part of his hair was, like, all, like, white. And, there, and then, like, right on the instant replay, it was all ripped up. So I just didn't get it. And the record was in terrible condition. Like, a two-year-old owned it. But this album was actually considered, uh, to, like, a lot of girls from, like, the 90s. Favorite Monkeys album. And some people even say it's the best album of all time. And this is also the first album to not have Peter, even though he played on I Won't Be the Same Without Her. He played the guitar on it. 
He should have still been on the album, and he was originally going to be on the Teardrop City single. But people say, why is this called Instant Replay? They're not replaying. Well, some of the songs they aren't, but most of them they are. The Looking Glass was from 1966. The Listen to Linda was from 1966. I Don't Be the Same Man Without Her was from 1966. Just a Game was from 1967. Me Without You was from 1967. Don't Wait For Me, that was a song then. You and I, a song from then. While I Cry, uh, 19, early 1968. Up City, 1966. The Girl Left Behind Me, 1966. A Man Without a Dream, 1967. Shorty Blackwell, uh, early 1968. So really, only You and I, uh, While I Cry, um, You and I, and Don't Wait for Me are the only ones. But I heard that like what, um, some people say that You and I is track number four, but it actually is track number seven. Side one and side two. Probably wondering how do I know how do you know all this stuff? Um, it's called I have a book. If you look on my um on my first video, you see I got a, a book called The Day by Day Monkeys. It shows that. Now the last uh real album I have is The Monkeys Present. This was um at first I really just never listened to this album. I just like got Monkeys Present. Let's sell it. I saw this at um bookstore, but this, I, um, this is actually my dad got it in the 80s. Same thing with Instant Replay and Head. The only songs I like are Good Clean Fun, If I Knew, uh, Looking for the Good Times, and they say the size, okay. Listen to the band, French song, Oklahoma Back with the Answer. That's basically it. This was supposed to be a double-sided album, but they said Instant Replay was, uh, not gonna be, like, there. And then, when Ed's Repo was released, they were thinking, since Peter's not here, why don't we just do it like this? Nikki gets side one, David gets side two, Mike gets side three, and then side four is basically some old tracks from, like, 66. And I heard it include all of the toys, which was kind of weird, but, um, it was then shoved into 12 songs. But there were some songs on here that could have been, uh could have been added. I'll also, like, um, I have a site that I post some monkey stuff on. Uh, later I'll give you guys the description of, like, the track listing that I think should have happened. And there's also, just like, hey, there's no sleeve that was on this. Uh, side one and side two. Next we got... More Greatest Hits of the Monkeys. This was actually at the same tour in 2011. The other monkeys would only sign one album per person. They be signed all of our albums that we brought. So More Greatest Hits of the Monkeys. Uh, front, spine, and the back. I got this uh, in 2010. Uh, by Arista. That's really good. Side one and side two. It's in very good shape, and I don't want to really play it, because my record player sometimes gets jacked up whenever I try to put the needle on a song. It just, like, scratches it. Next we got, uh, Monkey's Flips, which is signed by all the monkeys. Um, except for Mike. We, you, I've never had a Mike record signed, or ever met Mike. I've only met, um, uh, I met Mickey, Peter, and Davey before. Front, Spine the back. It's a long thing. It's actually something that's really good, but, um, so, um, yeah, I like that. I like this line that they had right there, but, anyways, does the record have a sleeve? Yes, it does. This is like an early Rhino thing, so side one and side two, but I think Arista was still doing their stuff. Um, then, Next we got the Monkeys album uh, that I just got a month ago. I got Monkey Flips also back in 2010, but um, Then and Now, which basically introduced three new songs, and then right after, uh, about a year later, they had their 10th uh, album, Pull It, which was a failure to me. I, wouldn't, I don't like Pull It. I don't really like anything. Changes was not that good. I only liked a few songs. Present, uh, I only like a few songs. Instant Replay was the last, like, uh, good Monkeys album that I actually give a crap. But here's this, Spine, that. It opens also. Flappy. Flappy.
um, side A and side B. The last Monkeys album is, I think, one of the last they ever released on record. Um, Missing Links, signed by Davey, right there. This, I think, was released in late 88 on record and early 89 on CD. Uh, the 88 record only had 12 songs, as the 89 had 16. There's a few that were not on here. But I think Missing Links uh, 2 also came on record, but in limited time. Front, spine, back. Really, it's actually not that bad of an album. I mean, there's some songs that I know they shouldn't have been on an album. Side one and side two. Oh, my dad also got this uh, back in uh, like a, a week after it came out on record. So he was lucky to find one of the last Monkeys albums, and this is also, I think, a rare Monkeys album. And this is like the most hardest thing to ever put a record in. This one record took it took me like 20 minutes just to put the record in, but um. Yeah, and there you have it, my entire Monkeys record collection. I do have more uh, CDs, which I'm going to show uh, soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.